Roach. Area without Roach. Damn the blackness. Roach, come here. Come here, Roach. Come on, Roach. I gotta go for a ride here. That doesn't that doesn't mean stop just because you see a big scary rock doesn't mean you need to stop, okay? Follow this pathway, Roach. It's very easy. We're going to go try to catch Philippa Isleheart um, at a request of the Redanian King. Now, Philippa Isleheart is a sorceress who was captured and tortured by said Redanian King. So it's kind of interesting what's going to happen here. I'm not a big fan of the Redanian King. He's kind of a jerk, but we're, we're going to figure this out. All right. Chest completely crushed. Ribs must have pierced the lungs. Let's figure out what killed all these dudes then. That guy, I'm guessing, got killed by fire. I'm gonna say. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but one plowing trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? A witcher. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Isn't that thing's uncomfortable on his head? Word was like there's a strap right over inside. his nose. Tell yesterday when we found this. A tile? Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Okay, good work. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. <laughs> Just trying to compliment the man, all right? Sorry. Okay, how do you know Philippa is down there? Think Philippa's still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? Some point. How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin an and owl? Redania, then tucked herself away. We know what that's here. about. Remember a blind owl, guys? What can I expect to find inside? Remember that blind owl, Everything, guys? Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Well, that guy on the ground didn't. Any of your men still down there? He's dead. A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. All right. Bye. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Geralt ain't scared of no hole in the ground, all right? Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. Thanks, bro. Not really worried about it. Not really worried about it. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. Oh, I thought I could just run through it. That's a little disappointing. Missing one tile. A little disappointed. I kind of wanted to run through that portal. It looked pretty, pretty and purple, and I was excited about it. Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move around. Portals, great. Which I just probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thought a remix? It's edge afraid. This Look is a chest. Feather. This chest right here, chat. Loot. It's the most important thing in the game. Neckers. Places like this. I ain't scared of no neckers. Damn. Inactive. Maybe I can start it up. With what, Geralt? Your hand? Maybe this thing? Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Okay, Igni didn't work. Let's try Ard. Should work now. Ard did it. Activated the portal. Nice. Portal. I hate portals. 
witch hunter in here? Stay back. Not one step closer. Oh, are you serious, dude? She that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Yes. Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. On the way up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Oh, yeah. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. All right. I like an ambitious person. What do you think things had to happen here? What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Okay. You think Philippa's still here? We know she's not because we know where the owl is. Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but in nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. All right. Let's get you out of here. Told you already. No chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal. I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? I thought you were made of stiffer stuff, dude. Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. Thanks, man. Is it down here? That's a torch. It doesn't go in here, does it? It's gonna go on the wall or something, right? Yeah, you right. Now to activate it. Thank you. Portal. Oh no! Two neckers, three neckers. What will I do? Stab them. That's right. If you get stabbed them, you are the big winner today. Did that one just run away? Wonder where it leads. Forget it. The necker pushed me down here. I can't jump when I'm in combat, so I'll just follow the tunnel. Power cell. Stop hitting me, neckers! It's rude. See if I can jump up here before I get into combat and can't jump. Perfect. Must have been her laboratory. Power cell. Checking these rooms for loot. There's a relic sword in here. Don't really need these mushrooms. There's a chest over here, though. I was gonna say, there's gonna be some magical protector. Usually it is a golem, so. Daryl, why'd you put your sword away? That dude is weak! That dude is weak! Took two hits to kill that guy. It's kind of sad. Kind of feel bad for beating him up. I feel like a bully, to be honest with you. I 
don't see anything else interesting down here. We'll head back upstairs. If anyone's wondering, those stalactites glow yellow because you can ard them and break them. It does make it kind of hard to figure out what Table, you're looking at. A few chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Agates. Kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone or used them in her experiments. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philip operated on someone here. What's she up to? Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Guys, Can't read a in. thing. Covering her tracks. Smart. Smoking pipe. Megascope. Megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Oh, is that what we're looking for, Geralt? Right here. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Don't see anything else in this room, so we're going to keep on... Oh, no, this is where we came from, isn't it? Okay, so it's got to be something in this room. Oh, is this the crystal right here? Crystal from a megascope. There we go. Heavily chipped. All right, I guess we're done then, huh? Head on out. Lots of portals. Luckily, the portal systems are very easy to get back and forth through. So. Is this where that dingus is? He must have already left. Yeah, this was the first place I did, because this is where they killed all the Neckers. So this should lead me to the front door. This was the blocked purple door, and this should be the stairs out. Beautiful. You're alive. Yeah, it's shocking, I know. Find anything? Um. Um, let's see. None of your business, not a thing. I don't like the witch hunters. Let's say nothing. Cremated notes, a necker nest, rats. Nothing interesting. Why don't I believe you? Don't know. Don't know. Your problem, I guess. Oh, you're wrong there. Grab him! Really? What a bunch of dinguses. They couldn't even figure out how to activate portals, and yet they come after me. Okay. Makes so much sense, it hurts. Okay, we should be able to fast travel right back to where Radovid is. Because he's just like right over here on this boat. So we should be able to fast travel right here to the Oxenfurt fast travel point. Boom, we're done. And I don't think, uh, I think this ends. So after this, we can just go do Cabaret, finish the, uh, finish the uh, Dandelion. One, and uh, and then we can do the regicide. Do we or do we not kill Radovid quest? And then we'll look and see if there's any cool Witcher contracts we want to clean up. We'll see how much time is left in the day. But I kind of want to do the uh, Care More and stuff tomorrow. So we'll probably do. Uh, we'll probably try to finish up Novigrad today and see where we can get to. Start what I like to call the third act. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the king about Ferrapol. I want to see the king. 
It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. Oh yeah, do you? I could kill everyone on that boat without my sword. So don't be a turd. Witcher. Any progress? Have you found Eilhart? Wasn't where your men said, but I did find signs of someone doing medical experiments there. Oh, that's something. I think Philippa tried to restore her eyesight. Verily. Empty eye sockets suit her so much better. So, have you any proof? Got this crystal. If I'd wanted a shiny bauble, I would have gone to a jeweler. You were to bring me Isle. Well, she wasn't there! This is a megascope crystal. The mages you keep in prison should be able to extract something from it. Yes. Oh. At last. They might prove useful. Not exactly what I expected, but... Very well. You've earned your pay. Thank you. Now bird just flew through you. I have affairs to which you must attend. I just saw a bird go through your body, bro. 135 crowns, that's it. Alright, dudes. Um, Let's go ahead and head... Let's actually... Let's, let's do that. Let's do the Uma. Eh... No, let's let's do cabaret. I wanna I wanna finish up this tertiary character quest before I do some of these main ones. Um, what am I doing? I'm 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 like stroking out right now. <laughs> okay, secondary quest, uh, cabaret right here. Ramen supper. I never. Eat. I wanted to uh, get a quick shave, but I didn't find any uh, barbers, so we're gonna have to worry about that later. Go here to Hierarch Square and just continue down through Cabaret, beat that quest. Should be simple as a pimple, which is now a new saying. No matter what you guys say, all right? There we go. Quick loading. Skellig has got a new kick. What are they? Not a man in the arms to be trusted. What the heck? What is this waypoint? Just look at the freak. Like he's, she's in here, right? Yeah. Crazy waypoint. Crazy waypoint. Does not know where I'm going. <gasps> so good to see you. Yeah? I need a prop. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Voila. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. I mean, you couldn't just buy a wooden sword, Geralt. Like, that seems like it would be so easy. Dad joke of the day. The fattest knight at King Arthur's round table was Sir Circumference. He acquired his size from too much pie. Because you measure circumference with pie. That is a very elaborate dad joke. That's like super elaborate because also circumference because he's like round because he's fat. Sir, circumference. His name should be Sir Comference. That's what it should be. Like S I R space C U M F E R E N C E. Sir Comference. That was it. I would really like that.
You the new innkeep here? Welcome. Welcome. Thanks, man. I mean, I, I, I wasn't I wasn't degrading it. I was actually complimenting it, man. Did you see they made rhyme balls with a hay there. illegal in Wisconsin? It's because the cows weren't getting a square meal. <laughs> now that's a classic dad joke there. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay, I don't own that card. Don't own that. Don't own that. Don't own that. Does he sell, does he sell cherry cordial? No. He does sell Redanian herbal, though. I guess I'll buy one of those. Though I have seven of them already. Cherry Colder is what I'm what I'm like missing. It's this. Glamour. Okay. He also sells Fiztech, which is a drug. Dude's dude is a madman. Alright. Gwent? Gwent? Up for a few rounds of Gwent. How you doing today, Dragons? How was your weekend? I saw you were streaming over the weekend, uh, designing your uh, overlays and such. Okay, I got one spy, two two gold cards. That's good though. Um, I'm scared of you. True to you. All right. Not not great, but not terrible. Man, I got a lot of siege, dude. Lot of siege. Finish your Discord channel's logo. Took me a while, but I'm happy with it. Now I just need to get people who don't mind being in a group together to stream. Oh, cool. Are you trying to set up like a stream, like a stream team? They passed. Poop shovel. Okay, let's do uh, six. Six. I'll still have one card advantage. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll go for it. I think I'm just going to go for it all in. Sort of stream time, more like a community of streamers supports each other. That's cool. Stream team, that's cool. You really played Frost? Okay, that's fine. I'm really scared to play uh, this Commander's Horn because if they scorch, they're just going to scorch all, all of my entire back row. So I'm going to go and play this and revive that 8. That way, if they scorch, they at least scorch that 8. Just one scorch of that 8. That, that makes me happy. Okay, well, now they're going to scorch everything. Well, nope, they'll scorch themselves now. It's a very interesting uh, strategy this person is going for right here. Have you thought of a name for it yet, Dragons? What's the name of it? Mythic Manor? That's a cool name. It's a cool name. I like the symmetry. Two M's. Oh, that's really good. Okay, they passed. So let's see if I even need to play my last cards here. I'm going to guess no. Yeah, I have a ton of points. That's what I thought. Figment Manor didn't get too many approvals. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, that's cool. 
Mythic Manor, I like that. I like that better than Figment anyway, personally. All right, Dandelion, what have you got us into? Ah, finally made it. Yeah, Listen, been here for a while. Here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes. If I can just save her from a bandit. Oh no, I'm the bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand. Oh no. And there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Dandelion, this is a terrible idea. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. That's it. That's your plan. Pretty good, actually, or not a chance. Let's be a supportive friend. Dandelion's had a hard time. Huh. This can actually work. Written your lines already. Oh no, You've the lines. What? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. Figment the dragon Andrew from Mask. Disney. I don't know that dragon. Sophonia Which one is that? Recognize you. Which, what movie is that no from? Time. Figment the dragon. Sophonia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Why do I have lines? Why can't I just be a scary witcher? Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Read from card. Tremble, flaxen-haired wench, and bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, they don't. <laughs> like the Crimson Asshole. <laughs> no. Not the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> Silence, Vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> oh, I was probably should have let him win. I've been hit. Ow! To the house, quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be. This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? I probably should have let... I wonder if I should have let him hit me. Probably... I'm going to read that quest log and see if I done messed up. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a ride? Yeah, I was doing that this morning, QuickBooks. I hate you. Get out of here. Journey into Imagination in 3D. Epcot. Weird. Is this ride still there? Journey into Imagination Ride at Epcot. I was just at Epcot like two years ago, and I don't remember this this ride. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember this. I don't remember that ride at all. Like I was just at Epcot like two years ago, and I have I have no no memory of this. Like at all. Interesting. Interesting. It's in a weird spot. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I mostly remember the food, if I'm being honest. The Japanese gift store, that was the best. Ah! I, w I wonder if I should have let Dandelion win. I feel a little bad. I feel like I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like it came out okay. I mean, he still went in. He still scared him off. You got your paper umbrella from that store? Dude, that store rules, dude. That store rules. Why is there just a bunch of witch hunters hanging around outside? I'm going to stash all my stuff. So I got a lot of named things. Fate. Adendieth. 
Ursine Steel Sword. Oh, because I had the other one equipped. Healmar Steel Sword. Okay, I want that. Um, that should be it. Everything else I can sell. He never gave me nothing but floppy diddly. He never gave me anything but floppy diddly. If I had a nickel. You don't know how to give, you can't receive. You're saying I'm not good. All right, as good as anywhere to meditate, meditate right here in front of the inn. Show up at 11 a.m. I'm guessing Dandelion is not an early riser. What are you doing? Not enough time already. Uh, you, Zoltan, how you doing, dude? We're gonna find out if I made a mistake or not right here. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? <laughs> well... The lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? What's the problem, well, it's lady? Not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? Agreed. Decide, lady. No idea what Dandelion would like. Get out. You've known him longer. Say something. No, it's for you! Dandelion is doing this for you! Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret's a former theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his life. Well, if it's not, he should have been here! choice it is. Well, you got women running around in their underwear just in the background. You're done, I don't think it really matters. No lollygagging. <laughs> Hear that owl hooting. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Oh, really? Does he now? We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Well, I guess okay, sure, I that's hope true. Your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. He said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's exactly dragons. Few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. No, Anything's he's possible with Dandelion. He's definitely just still in bed. Let me see if I can't find him. He's definitely still in bed. It's dandelion, dads. It's like, why wouldn't Geralt just assume this? If he's in actual trouble, I'm going to feel real bad, but there's no way he's in actual trouble. There's no way. Telling you for the last time, go away. Downfall of civilization. Moral decay. Go before they lose their mother as well. Welcome. I'm gonna see if I can help that lady because I like killing witch hunters, but it turns out I can't. Look at him. He's just banging on a door. Okay, well he's not in bed, but he's not in trouble. I get it, I get it, Dandelion. Quit beating on the door. Polly and her half brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. 
What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. <laughs> I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Uh, how? Let's find the key. Fine. Let's find the key. Key time. Damn it. Winds howling. Uh, checking a rock near the front door, or underneath a rug, like right here. Not here. How about over here in a bowl? Uh, the key. Found it. Geralt, you can stand up now. Thank you. I'm in, Dandelion. You might want to be the first Whoa, face she sees. Get Thank out you. of my house. You get Watch out of my it. house. Oh, wait. Leave the woman house. alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. Uh-oh. Dandelion, what I'm are you doing? I'm not sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa. Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Who that was a right? quick turnaround. Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that. I mean, look well, at the shirt she's wearing, chat. I mean, I'm not against immodesty. Like, in fact, <laughs> I'm sorted, totally for it. But, but uh, it's open like, sortedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Maybe Dandelion should be like, not a brothel. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. Or Geralt can do it, okay. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. <laughs> uh, lol. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. I don't know what that word means. In negotiation, means. as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Okay. I'll go see Rotlegs. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? Dude, no, you're my best friend, man. The hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. He's my best friend, man. Dandelion, I'd go for you. I travel to the ends of the earth for you. I don't think that's a real song, but I just made it one, so. If you guys sing it now, you owe me royalties. That's a fact. Winds 
howling. I like how the thing wants me to travel around the well. What's up, placard man? Placard man. <sighs> There's always trouble. Just, can never just get my new placards, you know, and pay money and whatever. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Really? Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You diff. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine. I mean, I even chose the, the option where I let them be thieves. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. I really hope so. Not your lucky day. I can't roast these guys. I really want to roast them. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, chat. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me unstuck. Let me unstuck. I can't see. It's a huge problem. much rot like owes you but everything in this house is mine want to get something back try the vagal bud estate rotlick's losing his last crowns at the races i wager now get the hell out of here that's embarrassing i gotta go to the vagal bud estate dude you said the placard on fire? Uh, placard's not in here, all right. I want to set everything on fire. I love fire. The placard's in here. Sorry that there's a fire. All right, he can remake it when I find him. Fire. I love me some fire. It's the first time I've lost a fist fight in this game, and I've never felt more embarrassed about it. Last chance to surrender on orthodox points. <laughs> Vagal Book Estate is a way far away from here. You're so hungry. Oh yeah, go get a snack. Order order Jimmy John's. That's, that's what I'd do if I had the money and wasn't on a diet. You know. Oh, you're also doing the whole diet thing. Yeah, it's rough. I'm with you. I am with you. It's one of the things I like about The Witcher. I don't really think about eating while I'm playing it. How you guys doing? Hola, hello. Is this him? Is this him right here? Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, this is not what not? I want. Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. No. Don't want to race. I don't want to race. I want to talk to Rotlick. Really can't jump over that? Okay. Well, Rotlick, seems you're a considerable sum in the air. Yes, yes. You don't have much of a choice. You expect me to believe that. Come now, old sport. We can't allow that. Who'd I wager with then, eh? Listen, here's what we'll do. We'll make one more bet. If you win, I'll pay your debts and we'll continue playing. What do you say? And if I lose? One worry at a time, old chum. Well, I have to place my bet. Sounds like a terrible idea. You Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. 
Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Uh, what's there to worry about? What's there to worry about? What a stupid about? question, Geralt! This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. Only if he wins! We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to de Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Here, just let me pay your debt. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Ah. There. Easy peasy. Don't have to do any racing. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Oof. Return to Dandelion. And he's over here. Perfect. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day, whether you're watching on Twitch Live or you're watching on YouTube and, uh, you know, and, uh, Let's Play. I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you're having a good day watching me play The Witcher, because I'm having a good day playing it, so. They're, like, done. So, we start in G major, and... There's Doo-Doo! I told you, the piece is sad, melancholy. Needs a minor key. But I wanted to, to ruin everything. We'll start an email. Why are there so many witch hunters in here? Like what are you what are you uh what are you pandering to, Dandelion? Well, well. See the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the uh accoutrements on the wall. What? Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. That's the name of it? It's not the Rosemary and Time anymore? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Okay. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just no longer a, a brothel. It all it's probably a good idea. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. All right. See you later, Priscilla. Thanks for everything. Don't There's that owl, it. by the way. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw... Oh, you no, we know the owl is not an owl. He saw right. That's why I mentioned it. And... She say anything about me? We've done that quest line today. She praised your rationality. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. I know, it's you, Danny Lyon. It's crazy, right? Like, we were like, what is wrong with this lady? One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Dandelion. So we think, 
That's who we think he is. Dandelion. I think he's Dandelion, you know? You know what I mean, chat. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So I do true. know, girl. A woman's so you're so pretty. Knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man. She's badly hurt. Uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. What attacked? the heck? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course. Let's go. What the heck? Who hit Priscilla? Because I will come at them like a, like a gorilla. A big one, too. Big gorilla. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Do I remember what happens? Well, Kinda. That's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative. Yeah, I'm her. I'm her mother. Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. Look at that dude's mutton chops, man. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at I Oxenford don't care about your resume, dude! Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? Her lips look hurt, too. Cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Tried to ruin her voice. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. Dude. It has yet you know to what? You're right, but you shut your lips. Doing so could very well provide some clues. Men are talking mutton chops. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Uh-huh. Okay. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers. Oh, lovely. Travel them often, Doctor? Love me as the often sewers. As required for, uh... The pursuit of preventive medicine. Mm. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. I like how they don't even give you a choice to help Danny Lion because he's your best friend and it would be so out of character for Geralt to not help Danny Lion. I, I really like that. I, I truly do. Like, he, he shouldn't have a choice. Like, that's just Geralt being Geralt. You lead. What? So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get... Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Just some drowners. Ah! 
And a big old water hag. That is a big water hag. And more drowning. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. You're very slow. You're very slow, man. Like, I'm not going to complain, you know, because you're helping me, but you're very slow. I mean, I guess we're just going to the morgue. Time's not really, like, important, but still. Very slow. Take the ladder. Yeah, I figured that out. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example, or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Okay, not that person. Not that person. This might be it. That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. This is a dwarf, a... but hands, not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. How about this one? Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Don't you tell me. The genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. See? Good thing we checked. Now we'll check his head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. It's pretty messed up. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. That is really messed up. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. That's really messed up. Kept the dude alive so he could torture him. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Okay. Check the chest wound. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah. Heart carved out, wound cauterized. All right, so that's probably how he died. Wait a minute, there's something else. Some good noises are happening right now. You like, you like squishy noises? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Sounds a like cottage cheese. Gross. I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. 
So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Interesting. All right, what about the scar Look itself? The scar, wounds long and thin, an incision, but the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Okay, so it's been there before. What about inside? Open him? the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. Wait, smells not rot. Formaldehyde, a medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Interesting. Okay, his hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Hmm. Okay, legs? See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Oh, Doesn't good pun, dude! the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. Girl, you don't have any sense of humor. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. This was a ritual murder. This was punishment. No mur motive. Murderers mad. I think it's a ritual murder. It's some kind of sick ritual. I mean, you got the eye socket stuff. That's you what got it. me. And he kept Burns him alive. The eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth. Also, he tried to do the same thing. Fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. <laughs> Got a couple questions for you. <laughs> Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Let's get right to the point. What Carver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Uh-huh. It's a good save by that guy, though. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. All right, thanks. Hmm. Thank you. You think that candle and his little thing there gets hot? Or falls over? Nathaniel, who is he? Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his That's case true. as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. What a surprise! Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and 
so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. Well, where'd be I the fun him, in that? Thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I mean, not really. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I've Maybe it gets hard. hot, but I doubt it falls it's out of the city and melted can of wax. Good point. Unhealed as yet. But it's gotta get what hot. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop. The corpse collector who found him. Alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. All right, I'll, I'll make sure I keep the hospital uh, stocked with bodies for you, man. All the bandits in the world coming at you. All right, let's uh, first let's try to find some things. So let's try to do. Let's go find uh, Eustace, the corpse collector, because he can tell me where to find the woodcarver, or the dwarf, I guess. And uh, and then we can kind of compare everything and do Priscilla last, because she's the one that survived. Let me save the game also right here. Hey guys, it's me, Z Swigs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, informative, and most of all, entertaining. Please leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also, come hang out with me every day over at twitch.tv slash zswigs. We're playing fun games over there. I love all of you, and thanks again for all your support.